As a way of complementing President Julius Madabio's New Direction vision and ensuring that the people of Sierra Leone have access to safe and reliable road network, the beam on the Atlantic Juba Bridge that is presently under construction by one of Sierra Leone's indigenous company, Seacon Construction Company, has officially been launched by the Minister of Works and Public Assets, Raymond de Souza Judge. Speaking during the event, the Deputy Minister of Works, Madame Melos Kagbo, who doubles as a chairperson of the event stated that it is quite important to give more support to local contractors so as for them to meet the demands of the people and the construction of the bridge will facilitate access to so many communities connected to it. We by the time this road hopefully as we they think and by God in power will complete that we will facilitate access to this growing community in Aya where we all day. It happens for actually being a community, Usaya Lee, it will provide a vital connection between major arterial roads. For this project particular, in reference, a reference is made to the example of the roads that we get for, we get for it and very speedily. And as we do that today, even with day or so, for, for witness the symbolic uh, connection of this bridge, to, to this community with the CCA, at the end of the day, it will serve the lonely community and it will reduce the already congestion where they suffer as a result of the heavy traffic on this lonely road. The Director General of the Sierra Leone Road Safety Authority, Memuna Kumbajalo, admonished Seacon Construction Company to remain vigilant in ensuring that they fulfill the demands of the people of Freetown and stated that they as an authority are working relentlessly in ensuring that they create more road networks in the country. And I get one to our hotel and I say, we don't know the plan what we'll do. We'll do all the design. We'll get in line with the new direction. One day we have to be sustained and say, we don't have to big, big money for them. And they can't be the concerns of the So this is where we have to go to the salon and inform them. We want to marry, the mother will go to the police where they are all over them. Then they begin to fund themselves. Don't want to go big again. And they want to make sure they small and small business. We will get a plan for this project. And the consultant don't work so much on them. Besides, say, Although they were short, but we go to them. You saw we go to them. And people they say they're ready for pay. Because the, the amount of hours when they spend along me, to make this way so they say they go to road, then they're ready for pay for, for use the road. Small one number, but you don't, don't, don't imagine how much you will collect inside one day. Papa Chendeka, the chief executive officer of Seacon Construction Company, assured the people of Freetown that if all things been equal with the required support from the government of Sierra Leone, the bridge will be completed by December this year, as hopes are that the government will give its required support to ensure that the dreams of the people of Juba and its environs becomes a reality, being that the project is completely sponsored by the government of Sierra Leone. This bridge will Certain in February this year, and if all the equal, we believe still we don't complete this bridge by December, so people are going to use this bridge. The second half of the bridge, which are the, next, the abutment to the next, I mean the pier to the next abutment, already the only way. Uh, Mr. Minister. We are an indigenous Sierra Leonean company. And this project is fully funded by the government of Sierra Leone. And we, as SICOM, will look to government for letting continuously to support we that we will complete this project in a timely manner, just like how the minister and the honorable just say. Mr. Minister, this road, when we complete them, it will help to reduce the bottleneck on the trip along the road. At least it will take 75% of the traffic load on the trip along the road. It will ease the traffic. And it will make commuting to the central business district very easy for people who are to live along the Juba and um, Godrich axis. 
In his keynote address, the Minister of Works and Public Asset, Raymond the Sousa Judge, assured the people of Juba and its environs that this bridge will be completed soon so as to ease the so many challenges people within the Juba axis and other areas do face. As he reaffirms government's commitment in supporting Seacon Construction Company as they move on with this project. Why are saying is a folly? Because God made the president get the kind heart we really want to pull salon people together. Now, person we get the spirit of unity in our heart. So God make the day near here. And as this bridge now they can build, this bridge they open up this place. This bridge stands for two big things. The thing that we are member, when are they think about them? First of all, we all in the complaint. Congestion, congestion, congestion. Now with the cars get this bridge. This is yellow being described for defined bridge. It tells me what is a bridge. The other word we are thinking of connectivity. So you get con congestion, you get connectivity. Our connectivity, the app we for solve this congestion. Look if we if this three join here and yonder, they tell we say it will make traffic no heavy. It don't connect so many people there. And it don't make that worry where we've been forget where you go there, the police station now. Four hours, you know reach your age. It not go be again. It not go be again. It is worth noting that the 90.4 meters long road will be the third largest road in Freetown. 940 meters long, it will connect the Atlantic to Juba Road. And according to a group of contractors from France, Mataya, who have been into operation since 1982, they said the bridge is expected to last for more than 100 years. The whole event was climaxed by the symbolic launch of the beam at the construction site in Freetown. Adam Asila, Star TV News, Freetown.